All right, we're back. We're reading Almost Otis by me, Dusty Thompson. That's my name right here. These are not my legs. My legs have never been that thin, even when I was in my mother's womb. So, if you're following along, we're on page 39. Before we start, though, do you like my shirt? Isn't that pretty? It's a really bold one. Ben does not like this one as much as the rest of them. But I try to balance out with a very... Um, subdued sweater vest. You can still see the designs, but I've always said you should want to be mistaken for a party, not a parade. A parade is exhausting. A party can be fun. It's my fashion tip to you. You're welcome in advance. All right, here we go. October 7th, 2011, Redneck is the new black. It's the end of the first month and we've settled into somewhat of a routine. I accuse him of being the source of all odd smells and he accuses me of Forgetting where you come from. Now, I have been accused of many things in my day, some nefarious, some untrue, and others quite on the mark. All of my friends from college need to just zip it. But as someone who is able to recognize a Jim Ed Brown and Helen Cornelius duet within the first four notes, I take exception to this. I may want to forget some of the more redneck aspects of my heritage, like peeing in the yard without the cover of darkness, but as someone who once dressed as Buck Owens for Halloween in third grade, I feel I am sufficiently country as to be welcomed at a 4-H meeting, y'all. I used to be in 4-H. I can't even remember the 4-H thing. I pledge my head to clear thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger, larger service, and my health to better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world. I should be in the 4-H Hall of Fame, y'all. That's pretty good, huh? I mean, I am the former owner, caretaker of a cow, sheep, and horse, not necessarily in that order. I have worn Wrangler jeans and cowboy boots, albeit under duress, but I actually bought Chucka boots last year, people. The fact that they are navy and come with a matching suede belt shouldn't take any of the shine off my spurs, if you know what I mean. After being confronted with this information, my father's terse reply was, well, Pardon me, Conway Twitty. Did you get your pink pants at the feed store? Well, touche, old man. Touche, indeed. And so it goes. I have boil, cooked boiled okra, but I made him watch Project Runway, which he says he doesn't like, but still manages to vocalize his opinions on which dress looks the most like a hooker. Oddly enough, we usually have similar tastes, although I am able to guess which weird-shouldered Barbarella dress the judges will pick, whether I actually like it or not. I realize Heidi Klum invented the TV show Project Runway, but sometimes her taste is tacky. She's going to say it. Sorry. Heidi, but <laughs> I think this sudden interest in fashion stems from his purchase upon arrival of a black bowler. He has now decided he wants to collect hats and has since purchased a gray bowler and a brown fedora. He asked me what I thought about his hats. I said I liked them just fine, but if he insisted on wearing them, he needed to start dressing in a more fashionable attire. As it is, he looks like a hillbilly who mugged a British banker in the 1870s. And he agreed. I was rendered speechless for the very first time and fled to Marshall's before he could rescind his comment. Why not TJ Maxx, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. TJ Maxx and Marshall's and Home Goods, and something called Sierra Trading Post, are owned by the same company, TJX, but they are, there are distinct differences. TJ Maxx has jewelry, only women's shoes, and more designer labels. Marshall's has shoes for the entire family, no jewelry department, but big and tall menswear. In my frenzy, I purchased an additional pair of khakis, he now has two, and a blue plaid button-down. Gingham is the new black. You heard it here first. This was in 2011. I think I was on point with that. Let's not go back and Google it. Just, I was on point with that. Of course, he hasn't actually worn the shirt yet, but I'm holding out hope, y'all. I have made it my duty to make the world a better dressed place one person at a time. And if you're ever one of my interns, I help you with your fashion. I am a full, coordinated everything for you. I'm here to help. Make everybody cuter. I guess I should have picked a less complex pupil for my latest project. But fear not, those huge Yeti-like feet will be encased in coordinated socks by the end of the year. I mean, he can't see his feet, so he wouldn't know anyway, right? Stealth fashion seems to be the best bet for this redneck redo. I'll be like a Navy SEAL of fashion, without the guns, or the camouflage makeup, or the combat. Okay, maybe not a Navy SEAL. Maybe just a Navy jacketed style coach for those who wear overalls. 
I'll do whatever I need to do as long as I'm cute, not sweaty, and get a free pass for being judgmental. You picking up what I'm throwing down? I thought you would. And that's where we'll stop until next time. Thanks.